Welcome to the Leather Journey, and tonight we're going to look at Japanese clover, clover leaf or clover style clamps. Uh, I call them engineering wonders uh, because when you squeeze them, they open up, and when they close back down and you tug on them, they get tighter and tighter and tighter. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit more later on in the series with Japanese clamps. Uh, so I'm not gonna make this an extremely long video, but I will say that if these are put on and you don't tug them, they're actually quite mild, okay? That tension builds the, the longer it's on. It seems like it gets a little more and more tension if I tug on that, then it gets a little more tension very quickly, very intense, okay? And they're designed to where, for whatever reason, don't ask me the engineering part of it, but when you tug them, they seem to almost maintain their tension as to wherever they've been tugged, okay? Now, to conclude this video, I want you to put your pretend caps on because I wasn't able to find my other set. But trust me, I own more than one set of these. If you put a split ring, just a common split ring on this chain, then you can actually attach two sets of these together. So you use your imagination. If I had two different bottoms or two different submissives with clamps, on one and clamps on the other one, you could actually have uh, a tug of war, a type of tug of war or a submissive Olympic event or whatever kinky game you can come up with. Uh, these, these can be a lot of fun. Whether you put those in place and you're tugging on them or whether the, uh, the submissive is allowed to tug on them, or whether you put those in place and then through some uh, creative uh, predicament bondage, you put the person you're playing with in a position so that if they move, uh, they tug on these and it increases the tension every time they move. I've seen these used quite a bit for a wide variety of creative predicament bondage settings, and it's all because the tension gets tighter as the clamp is tugged on or pulled. Just brilliant design. What can I say? Brilliant design. But if you don't own a set of these, these are the only clamps that I don't honestly have a vanilla application for so I'm going to point you to find these for your, from your favorite kinky vendor. And these are must-have in everybody's toy bag. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.